Yeah, you really can't see much. Hello, welcome to my live stream. I'm sure no one is here just yet. Um, but we were having a little bit of difficulty choosing rooms. And it looks like I am in the girls' room on the PC, which I've left in here. I don't know how great this setting looks, but it's okay. Um, so I'm just prepping my face. I'm putting on some cream. I still have this little blemish there. And as you can tell, I have like this coloration. I have some dark uh, skin up here, like right here and down here. Um, right now I'm going through my sort of deluxe size uh, it's confidence in the creams i really really enjoy these i just got one of the secret sauces so i can't wait to use that um so i did go ahead and put on uh, i used my acar or acar balance toner tone my face and then i'm going to use this uh, rose quartz roller to like push all of the uh, moisturizer and the toner into the skin. You know what I didn't do? What I, I really, really love these. They're quite pricey for um, a lip balm, but they're from Milani. It's the Fruit Fetish. This one is in Kiwi, Strap, uh, Kiwi Watermelon, excuse me. And I've purchased a few of these for them to be quite pricey. Um, they are around $9.99 for one of the bombs, for one of these bombs. So I just opened this one um, because I have a few, like I literally, I think I have like all of them. So I'm going to squeeze it out there. And I also just received um, my BoxyTerm Premium today and it looked like it went through hell getting here. Like my, oh, that smells so good. Like that's the reason I use these. Not only do they just smell really good for Milani, um, but they have like a nice scent and flavor. And then also they look really good and they work really good. Like if you have dry skin, it'll take them out. Today, what I really wanted to feature is Too Faced. I really am in love with Too Faced. So I really wanted to use this new eyeshadow palette I purchased. I purchased it off of Ulta.com and I've had it for, I don't know, a few weeks. I think it's just the cutest and it's called Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. And I feel like on um, yeah, this side, from this side here, um, they smell sweet, like sweet pumpkin. And then from this side here, it smells like a spicy pumpkin. And I just am dying to use it. I love the way it smells and I'm sure it works good. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm like really, really tired. Um, I have, again, this puppy and he's a great Pyrenees. So what I'm using is this Tula skincare. It's like, um, like an, a brightening eye balm. And I just put it on. It feels so good. I'm so, so tired. But the balm feels amazing. Now, I also wanted a feature like all Too Faced. So I wanted to use this um, primed and poreless. I don't want to. There's like a little thing in there. So as you can see, I've used it quite often. The letters are like gone. It's like the cutest thing. And then on the bottom, there's like a little heart inside. And then you can use it. So cute. But hmm, I guess we'll give the little heart a try. Um, what I really, really love to use actually is this Hard Candy Hydrating Primer. Um, it's really being compared to the Milk Makeup. The reason I like to use this is because it plumps up the skin and it just, like my makeup literally just sits on the skin how I put it on all freaking day. But since we're featuring Too Faced, I'm going to use this palette here and prime my face. Um, I think this does a really good job with making your makeup look silky. I think it does look really silky and nice, but it um, doesn't do anything else, just kind of like smoothing. And for the price that I paid for it, I mean, it's Too Faced, but it's kind of nice. 
there's no scent to it, which is good. I really don't want my primer to have a scent to it because that's like the first step you're putting on there from your makeup. And um, I don't want to be like irritated to it, you know? Sometimes the irritation starts with even um, your face wash. It can start. What is that? Do you see that? Is this coming apart? It's weird. I haven't used the little sponge. I think I used it just once. Um, but yeah, your my skin can become really irritated with like just the face wash or the um, moisturizer I may use. So I always have to put in eye drops. The eye drops I have are actually um, from like a grocery store that I saw on the way out. This is from Top Care. They're just um, a lubricant and redness reliever. I always have eye drops. I have to use them when I wear makeup or else my eyes will become a little odd. Okay, so I think maybe they're like down here. And then that's enough uh, priming. Right here, I get really oily and I'm sure this is like matte. So I'll like try to like put it mostly here because I get oily in those locations throughout the day. Oh, keep dokey. Um, I want to use, this is brand new um, from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Matte 24 Hour um, Foundation. And I truly believe this is 24 hours. I have worn this throughout the day and I myself have hyperhidrosis where as I sweat more than a normal person and it stood on all freaking day. Something that I forgot is a palette to put this on. Um, I may just put it in a mirror. And then the brush I'm gonna use for the foundation brush is by Too Faced as well. I haven't used this one, so I really hope I like it. Um, I am going to put this on a mirror, though, so, because this has a pump, oh, okay, never mind, let's, let's just stick it on here, I don't want to put too much, though, um, the shade I got for my skin is porcelain, and it's a really, really great match, so since I just put it on my brush, I'm just going to do, like, a few dabs, um, I really like to work my foundation from the top of my face and then work my way down. I don't know why. It's just the way I do it. Um, like see here, like we have our eyeshadow, like our, our eyeshadows, our eyebrows. So I'll like work it in the brows. And then I also, of course, clean up my brows with concealer if I'm using, um, trying to think of the word because I don't use it a lot they're like the brow fillers in the pot oh I don't know how well I'm liking this brush like the foundation is really good but this brush is not working out and I knew it wasn't gonna work out so I'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush um this is from a company called complex culture I absolutely love this foundation brush because that foundation brush just doesn't get it so I'm just gonna kind of dab a little bit off because what I really want to do is just blend this foundation out because I just feel like it didn't do a really good job of blending. Yeah, there we go. Like you can, you can totally see the difference. And if you look on that side, it's just like sitting on the skin. Sometimes you know, the brushes they, they make really aren't great for the foundation. The foundation is amazing, but the brush is like really bad. Okay, so I still have a little bit more in the hand. I'm gonna pick this up. And like this brush is really good for getting around the eye. So I'm gonna add about a half of uh, a pump onto my brush and then kind of just dab it around. Here I do go around like under the eye and then around the side of the face. I wonder what that is like getting around my eye like that. It's like maybe a little white <clears throat> fuzz ball or something. I did prime my face with a cotton pad, so maybe that's just it. I think this color is just absolutely pretty. 
Uh, my skin tone is cool. It's like a light beige cool. Some porcelain is really nice. A really nice shade of foundation. Um, the foundation, where did I get that from? I don't know, QVC. I think I ordered on QVC. QVC is really nice for you to get like some really pricey uh, foundations just because they are like you can pay in installments. You know, you don't need a credit card. It doesn't charge you interest. QVC now has a mobile app too. So that's like really nice. What do you guys think? Um, the reason I really like Too Faced is because none of their products give me irritation. Super pretty. Whoops, my earring. I keep hitting it. What do you think? And maybe if I should add a light. Let me see. I may add a light just to see if it'll like look better. Does that look any better? There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's nicer. There we go. Okay. So this foundation is so, so pretty. Um, it is buildable. I am going to build up the foundation around here just because I have dark spots. Um, my dark spots, you know, my family is quite mixed. Um, my grandfather, he's like, he's from Yugoslavia, which is modern day Serbia right now. And he's just really dark like really dark like he's dark <laughs> and then his lips are like purple and like my father's side of the family like my mother's side is like dark and then um my father's side of the family is like really light like blonde hair white light and my brother has like blonde hair and hazel like green eyes and then I do stone <laughs> so okay so it looks good there we go nice I really love this foundation like it's my favorite foundation and it's so so big and very very heavy and I think it'll last me a long time that took a while there um so what I'm going to go into is with the Too Faced um multi-use concealer the sculpting concealer the shade I have is golden beige um I like the concealer just because it comes with this really cute applicator honestly this might work best, like this foundation brush for this concealer. Let's take a look. I'll do one side at a time. Let's see. I mean, if this brush doesn't do a good job. Okay, there it goes. Yeah. Okay. So this is more like of a concealing brush. What a shame. I really love these types of brushes though. I think it's because of like all of the extra hairs. I mean, I don't know what it is, but when they have like so many hairs like that, it just works so much more better. Look at that concealer. So this is the without the concealer and this is with the concealer. It looks really good. Like this concealer is bomb diggity. I love it. Let me put that brush away. I'm going to go ahead to the next eye. I'm so happy that there's makeup around, you know, because um, it just makes you feel so pretty. And then on the other side, makeup is, can be, you know what, I forgot a primer. So I'm putting this on my lid too, around here. Um, but makeup can make you feel pretty. It can cover up spots you just feel uncomfortable with. It could be like for decorating, um, you know, say like, I don't know, you have some kind of party and you like, like a soccer party or something. You can even use makeup to like make like the color of your flag. Really cool. I'm going to add some here and then I will do some later on there. I am also going to put the concealer here as well. You know, I have another... <laughs> Uh, one of these because I, I bought a different color. This one may be the darker one. Oh well, it's fine. Sometimes, like, I get a lot more sun than usual. Is my cat in here? <laughs> yeah, he's in here being weird, but it's okay. I'd rather be with someone than alone. I don't like to be alone. Do you guys see that? Oh gosh, darn it, it is. 
This is the darker color. I'm going to have to blend this out. It's okay. I mean, it's still a wonderful concealer. And this brush just sucks. I'm sorry, Too Faced, but this brush got to go. Like, it was bad. I knew it, too. Um, I have my makeup in secure locations, but my kids, like the youngest ones, the ones that are one and two, they'll get into it. <sighs> and... They got to both of them. And I was like, huh, I don't remember it being golden beige. I think it was a lighter, a lighter shade. <laughs> and it was. They gave me the dark color. How could they? I'm like getting lighter, not darker. Okay. Do you guys still see that? It doesn't show like that in the mirror. But for some reason, like you can see that in the camera. Maybe it's just me. And if I feel like it's like really bothering me, I'll just add a little bit, where you go? A little bit more foundation, just lightly. <sighs> Onto this brush, like a little dab like that, just so I can line it up because I just feel. Okay. Messing up already. But. This is how we learn. You know what I mean? You're not just going to put makeup on your face and you're like, oh, I'm done. You know, it's not that easy. I mean, I don't know if guys think it's that easy or if some girls, you know, maybe there's like my daughter, for instance, she doesn't like to do makeup. She just probably thinks, you know, I just put it on and that's it. But look at that go. Pretty. Okay. So pretty. I like that. I love this. Okay, so we're finally going to, again, I did forget to shoot, to put on a primer. Let me make sure this is on my lids. And we're going to get into the eyeshadow palette. Holy crap, I'm destroying stuff. So let's go. What shades should we use today? I think I'm going to use a la mode for a base color, the shade here, a la mode. Brushes, where are you? I'm, I'm destroying stuff, you guys, destroying stuff. And then I have like a brush swatch because honestly, I haven't had time really to clean the brushes again and again and again. And I do have other brushes, but I have like favorites. Okay, a la mode. So I just dipped the brush in there, and of course there's a little bit of fallout. Sometimes I have issues with fallout. So let's see how well it does. Oh my gosh. I forget how pigmented Too Faced um, eyeshadows are. Actually, I should have went a little bit lighter. And actually, I don't like this brush adding the color. Let's use this one. I was using like different odd shades. Um, the brushes I'm using, actually, this one is um, from Morphe by Jeffree Star. This one is a BH number seven brush. This one is in the Crystal Zodiac sign. So I'm just gonna lightly dip in here and then tap off any excess. There we go. Oh yeah, that's nice. This is the color I want to keep all around the eye. And then actually, I probably want to take under the eye line as well. How pretty. Should I bring it out a little bit more? Yeah, I'm going to dip in again and then just, yeah. That's nice. So good. I'm just gonna, you know, twirl it in. You can see all that fall out, but it's not bothering me, so I don't care. I mean, there's like eyeshadow palettes where the fallout will irritate the eye so bad I have to take it off, wash my face, and then not even. Maybe after that, I probably won't even do 
anything in the eye because then everything's like, oh, I feel bad. I just don't feel like doing it again. It took so long. My eye is irritated at this point. Um, that happened to me. Excuse me, I have allergies. That happened to me with um, the Koki Cosmetics eyeshadow. And I did a tutorial on it. And there was so much fallout that it like completely like destroyed my eye. And uh, I didn't even post the video because it was just so bad. It's like so bad. This brush is so nice. BH Cosmetics brushes are like really nice. What do you guys think? You guys hear that? Okay, so that was a la mode. Now, you know what I didn't notice is I have on this kind of like olive green color. And they have a few shades of green, like these three, actually. Um, there's a Fall Vibes, Sweetie Pie, and Falling For You. How sweet. Yeah, so this side definitely smells like sweets. And then they even have sweet names. And this one's spicy. They have spicy names. Like, you spicy. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to go in with Sweetie Pie. Let me get a crease brush, actually, if I have one with me, because um, apparently I'm not as ready as I thought I would be. So I'm going in with Sweetie Pie, dusting off any of the excess. Oh my god, it smells so good, actually. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That's nice. I think I want a smaller crease brush. Oh, I don't even think they have it. Oh my god, okay, bye. Like this brush just came. Sorry, my allergies twirling at me. This is the number eight from the Crystal Zodiac brush set. And that I purchased from Ulta. This smells so good, you guys. Like seriously. I think I'm going to take this all over the lid and then bring out that color that I just put on once more. Should I, I'm going to build this up. My block is loud. And the reason I said my block because I am too. Okay. So I'm changing this to be the lid shade because I prefer it to be the lid shade. Oh my gosh, this is getting into like the other shades. So what I'm doing is like, I mean, I know it's really quickly, but I'm pushing, like I'm putting it on and then sliding it over. And then I am bringing this up into the crease, but actually I really want it all over the lid. And I'll come back later with that other shade. And you can definitely see that fallout. I'm just gonna take a big poofy brush and like brush it off, holy crap. Are you gonna come off? Oh, dang. The reason oh, why I should have did actually my shadow first, but that's okay. We'll fix it later. So I want to come back into um, the shade a la mode with the number seven BH Cosmetics brush because I want to take out this color and like bring it up and keep it out. And I want to take out a shimmer green. I like... <laughs> Oh my gourd. No, that's not oh my gourd. It's fall vibes. I'm like reading it upside down. So I'm going to take out fall vibes. And I really like this brush. Hmm. Let's do, let's do this one instead. This one is the number 10 brush by BH Cosmetics in the Crystal Zodiac brush. And let's dip in here. So this is definitely a shine. There's not really much fallout. From that, I should have got a shader brush. Actually, I don't even think that's gonna. Okay. So, really quickly, I'm gonna, because it's not gonna pick up the shine that I need. This one from Koki Cosmetics, whoops. 
This brush from Koki Cosmetics is just a shader brush. is perfect for shimmers like this. So nice. So going back in with Fall Vibes, and I want to show you, like, it really does pick up really nicely. Really nice. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite shader brush for shimmers. So pretty. Okay, so fallout's coming out a little. Okay, so I guess we're going to call this a shader packer brush because it's just packing it on without giving me the ability to kind of blend it out. Oh, so pretty. I'm like in love with this color right there. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye here. I think the only thing I didn't find um, that I wanted to use from Too Faced today, like I don't have a Too Faced eyeliner. I don't even know if they make eyeliners. And I didn't have a Too Faced setting spray. I think that's all. I know. And then my window is open as we speak. One eye is always made like <laughs> better than the other eye, I swear. Oh, it's not picking up. I want to show you all this fallout. Look at all that fallout. And this is how much it's picked up. Gosh. Like these colors are so pretty though. I really wish they'd come out with better brushes. What do you guys think? I'll pull it out a little bit more. So you guys can definitely tell now that it has a lot of fallout and it's a little bit more difficult to blend out the um, shimmer shades. But it's still pretty. I mean, it looks really good. And Too Faced products last a long time on the skin. And I'm going to bring out that darker shade of olive green to the side there. I have so much fallout, though. But that's okay. It's just makeup. And at the end of the day, it's just makeup. So I'm done with that and that shade. Oh my gosh, look, it's like all over. And I'm going to go in um, with this other looking green. Is this a shimmer? It's so weird. It's like a matte shimmer. You see, like that's the shimmer. That's the matte. And it's like a matte shimmer. And the shade again is Falling For You in the Pumpkin Spice Too Faced Palette. I think I'm going to take, let's take this blender brush, the number eight from BH Cosmetics, Crystal Zodiac Sign, and we're going to go in with this shade here. And bring it into the crease. Hmm. Not everything is as good as it seems. And once you have it, what do you think? Maybe it's the brush. I'm going to try that Koki Cosmetics Packer Brush with the shade. Since it's kind of shimmery, you know. And then I'll blend it out with a different brush. Oh, I got some fallout. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. So it's a little bit shimmery. So I use this Koki brush and it's picking up really good. But it's also leaving some fallout for me, but it still looks good. I want to bring this out here. I'm going to be looking funny. When we do our makeup, I think everybody does. I think everybody looks funny. Because we're like facing odd directions and doing odd things. Just to get it done. Women get it done. Well, men do too. 
I don't have a problem with it. I'm just saying, like, we all do it now. We all get it done. Makeup is hard work. Definitely is artistic. Artistic. I don't know. Oh, my God. Look at all that fallout. Like, I don't know. I think I want to, like, bring this color out. I just feel like I'm not getting all that I want with this color. All will fall out. <laughs> Joke. Do, do, do. And then, like, I'll take out that color there. All right, so I'm done with that. I'm going to take, like, a slider poofier brush and get rid of this because it is, like, all over. Like, but it smells good at least. So, you know, at least your face is nice and smells good. I'm going to take a clean brush for the inner corner to get that fallout. And then I'm going to finish the eyelid. Let me go back in. With a la mode. There we go. What do you think? So a la mode. I don't like the eye to be all dark sometimes. Sometimes like nighttime or like really late into the fall I will. But not today. Today's like a real sunny, warm day. Um, and then I do have on a green. So I think that looks really good. And um, I'm going to add a little bit more of the fall vibes. That was the shimmer here. To bring this out over the falling for you see how it's like over it. I want this to be over it. I like the lighter color and then I want the darker color just on the outskirts of my eyes. There we go. So I'm going to finish the rest of the eye makeup like the mascara. I was deciding between the Too Faced, Better Than Sex, and then the Damn Girl. Um, let's look at this one. Okay, we'll do this one. This one's good. I want a mirror so that I can make sure I'm not going to get it on my skin. Honestly, the honest length of a makeup tutorial while, well, like, messing up. And then, like, the power of editing makes it, like, 20, 25, 27 minutes. So it looks really good. I like this mascara a lot. I really, I want to do like a makeup tutorial with everything Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make like a little video about that too. To think, like to see what you guys think. So there's a mascara if you can see it. And then I'm going to add it to the lower lashes. My gosh, you guys, I have so much fallout right here. It's like really bad. Sometimes the lower lashes get stuck to the upper lashes. I really love fall though. I love the colors. I like the vegetables that come out. I love going apple picking. Uh, we live in the state of Ohio. So there's like a lot of farmland. I mean, I even have my own chickens, but I don't have like my own farm. My own farm would be like a whole other like 14 kids because farming is hard work. Oh, crap. I did it. I did it. I got it wrong. So I'm just going to put this over because what I'm going to do is grab here. And I'm going to brush that out because those eyelashes, they always get stuck to the top ones. Let me get rid of this. Oh my gosh. 
Where's that bad foundation brush? I'm going to use that bad foundation brush. It's just this little thingy. Where'd it go? I want to get rid of this. I don't see it. Okay. Yeah, just take it off. Oh my gosh, now I'm like all shimmery at the bottom of the eyes. Just gonna use the foundation brush to like clean it up. If it's like really bad, I'll use some concealer. And it's like, you I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like light green right there with all the fallout, but oh, it's fine. I'll fix it up. Okay. Oh, let's get into the brows and the eyeliner. So I got this in like a sample to like try this out. I'm in absolute love with this eyeliner. It's the Maybelline Lasting Drama waterproof gel pencil I love it so much like it's so good and it's so creamy I'll show you so creamy I like it I'm like so in love with it I put my mirror down so I thought I would just use the the screen I like it. Could have did like a different color, like a green, but I think it looks like this is fine. And you can also like do the upper. Why oh, don't want to get the the shadow? Okay. And let's get into the brows. I don't have a pomade with me today. Mm, I'll do this milk Kush. Fiber gel, which I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the Milk Kush Fiber Gel. This is in the shade Dutch. And I'm just gonna brush my brows with this. You know what? I need a mirror because this does dry pretty quick. So you don't wanna mess up. I'm not gonna outline them or anything. I do have a pencil, but I really don't wanna look at that mirror. Okay. Um, so with this Milk Makeup Kush Fiber, like it's literally adding, making it look like there are more hairs. My hair is so thin on my head and on my eyebrows and anywhere else. So you see that, like a whole big glob of it just came out. And then it's also like a gel. So it's just, you're just going to put it on. It's going to fill it in and it's going to dry. It's so nice. I love it. I got this in a previous boxy charm, I think from last month. Oh, crap. Okay. So the good thing is we clean up our brows. I love boxy charm, by the way. It's my favorite subscription box. Like, I canceled. So many subscription boxes just because BoxyCharm is my go-to and I do shopping there on the add-on months and stuff and I just feel like it's really good. Holy crap. Like, why does one always come out so much better? Um, really quickly, I'm going to take, if I can find it. Oh, yes. Here's one by Pure. Pure Cosmetics um, Brow Sculpt and Groom. I'm just going to take it really quickly and lighten it up. So it's like dark. Oh my God, it's still dark. <sighs> so the bad thing about these is that it dries. Like real quick. Okay. Fine. You want to play dark, then we'll play dark. And I'll just... Apparently, this one doesn't get any darker. This one's like, no, I'm light enough, dark enough. Do you see that? Why is it not darkening? Uh -huh, so sad. Okay. Like, this brow just looks so good. And then there's that one. I wonder if I like, let me try to like brush this out with its own. 
brush. Why don't you get darker? Like, I just have a feeling. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, what do you think? It's too dark, isn't it? And you know what? Makeup never looks right until you like do your hair and you put it down. Or however you're doing your look. I just feel like that is so dark. Maybe it's just me. Okay. We'll give it some time. And we're going to clean up those brows. I really love this. I don't care that one of them is darker than the other one. I'm going to take this brush by Alamar Cosmetics and my concealer. And I'm just going to like dip it. And I'm going to find my pretty little mirror. I can't open it because there's a button. I can't open it. Okay. And I'm just going to clean up this brow. This brow is the one who's giving me a headache. Like, I don't know why I wanted to do this to me today. After I put this on, I remembered that the concealer color, color was the darker one. <laughs> I'm so sad. Like, sometimes, like some days, my days are just so bad. I wonder how I get through them. <clears throat> Like, and I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, I don't mean to say like, it's like this horrible life or whatever. I just mean to say like, then my day is just so bad. It made me feel bad. And uh, I just don't know how I get through it. What do you think? Good cleanup. Yeah. And again, I'm going to take this brush from Alamar Cosmetics and dip on this stick. And then just clean up my brows. Let me know what you guys think about Too Faced. I love Too Faced cosmetics. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Witching Around with Leslie. Leslie, I love that name. So pretty. I like names that start with L's. There's me and my daughters. I have like everything but an L. <laughs> okay, you guys, what do you think? Good cleanup. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm finished with the eyes. I'm going to go into the face. Um, I have the Too Faced Natural Matte. Palette. It is an eyeshadow palette. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> I should do a bottom eye look. Let me take this little brush and I want to go back into the pumpkin spice eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the a la mode and a little bit of this green. Just so that there's a little bit of color there on the bottom so that it's not all shimmery. As long as I use like a little, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies, like a brush to add the color, it usually comes out okay. Maybe a little bit more. I could have used a little bit bigger brush. Sorry if I'm blocking you. See, because we look crazy when we do our makeup sometimes, really. And then there's like those makeup tutorialists who like do such an amazing job. You're like, how do you do such an amazing job? Like the power of editing is really good. And then maybe they practice a lot with um their hand movements. I want to smudge that out a little bit. I'm going to go into it, this brush. Hi, Matt. So much now. There we go. Maybe a little bit more color over there. I just feel like I'm not getting the color that I want with this scheme. Maybe it's just the green. Maybe I have to use like a different color. I don't know. The other mode is amazing. Maybe I'm just having like troubles getting used to this shade. Okay. 
I'm done. I'm done with it. Okay, so I'm going to use the, actually, the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. I love it because it smells like chocolate. Uh, of course. It's so beautiful. This is such a pretty palette. And it just smells so nice. Um, let's see, actually. I'm going to use a really good bronzing brush that I like. This is from Fenty Beauty. And it's like the cream brush, uh, bronzing, bronzing brush. I'm going to go in with the light contour just to see if it's a little, like if it'll do much. If not, I'll go in with the medium contour. Okay, I'm going in with medium. And then remember, like I just went in with light. So I'll have to do the same thing with the other side. Otherwise, it'll like, it won't look the same. And I swear, the only person that notices is yourself. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the light. And then I'm going to go in with the medium. Like that fallout is even still there. Like you can see, I'm going to fix that up though. I like this brush for bronzing. I don't know if I like the caramel bronze though. Maybe I'm gonna like switch it up. I mean, the forehead is my favorite place to bronze. This, honestly, when I bronze here, I kind of do a triangle like right there because I have like big cheeks. So I like the, uh, to like contour right here. Like I'm going to bring it down. There we go. I actually dipped into the deep contour because it was like, yeah, do you see that? Because it was like not doing anything, the medium or the light. And then I'm going to go in with the, looks like there are highlighters in here. But also from Too Faced, I have like this palette and this palette. Let's try out these highlights. I'm not really sure that I've tried these highlights. Honestly, this looks like not a highlighter highlighter, but like for contour. So uh, I'm gonna go in with a different brush. Oh, look, I found the bad foundation brush. All right, I'm gonna go in with a different brush and I'm just gonna use these. Yeah, that's not a highlight at all. So maybe that's just the name of the shades. I'm going to use a blush. I don't know where I went. Maybe we'll go into the natural matte and mix some shades in there to get a blush. I think I'm going to mix this one and this one to get a pretty brush. Blush, excuse me. Like kind of like a, a tan blush. And I really want to get all this stuff from under there. Like, it's, like, so bad. I really want to get a little more. Okay. And I'm going to go in with the highlighting palette. Um, it's called the Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Face and Eye Palette. And it looks like that inside. And I'm going to use another BH brush. Whoops, sorry. BH brush. Uh, brush. And I'm going to go in with Peach Honey. <sighs> but I like to... They have a lot of fallout, like. Not kidding. Not kidding. This smells so good. It literally smells like peaches. That's the highlight. I feel like I'm not doing well with their products today, but I'm like in love with their foundation and their concealer. 
I really, there we go. Do you see that? So I really love their foundation and their concealer. Their highlight seems a little different. I'm just dipping in here. What I'll do is like take it from like around the middle and around the middle up top and then bring it up here. I'm gonna dip in here again and kind of like bring it here. Kind of around where my face naturally highlights itself, just so it doesn't really look oily once you're close to the end of the day. They have so much fallout. That's just fallout. That's how bad the fallout is like. I don't even know. And we're almost done. I think I'm like so done. That is so dry. It doesn't feel dry. You can just tell that it's dry and it's not moving. So that's good. Their like products have, bless you, Max. I must be giving my cat allergies. <sighs> okay, I am done with the face. Finally, completely hooray, hurrah, one whole hour. To finish it off, I'm going to use one of the Too Faced Melted Mattes. Um, this one is in the newest shade in Pumpkin. Super pretty. I haven't used it, actually. I do know that I like to get around my lips because I don't really need a lip liner for this particular shade. So here we go. Like, I feel like if I mess up, like, it looks crooked. It smells so good. It does smell like um, pumpkin and spice. Whoever says it doesn't, it's like, I don't know what's wrong with your smell buds. Because it does. It smells like the um, pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. I love Starbucks. Actually, that sounds really good right now. My mom, she's watching my kids. She's, she's like um, been staying here for the coronavirus time. And uh, it's, her time's like almost up here. She goes back home. And she survived, thank God, you know. Everyone's so worried about their parents and um, the ones who are more vulnerable to coronavirus. So she stood with us when it like first started. So she's been here for months trying. No lie, like literally driving me crazy, but I would never let anything happen to her, you know? Just because she drives me crazy doesn't mean uh, I would let anything happen to her. You guys see that? Okay. It totally dried down matte. I absolutely love it. The color looks amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Shopping with Stephanie. Thank you. Um, I really think it is really pretty. I love the lip color. That's <laughs> like the foundation, the concealer, and the lip color right now is my complete favorite. Holy crap, that looks amazing. Do you guys see that? I'm all done. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who joined today to um, watch this crazy makeup tutorial. And um, actually, I have like, I like how I feel about them. Like my favorite products by far um, is the lip product that just fell. Um, so it's this uh, new matte, God, I can never say this, Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick by Too Faced in the shade Pumpkin. It does smell like pumpkin. It looks really pretty on the lips. It dries down really nicely. It isn't sticky and it looks really smooth. I got this from... Ulta in store for around $20. And then um, another one of my favorites is the Longwear Foundation, which is matte, and the concealer, which is matte. Unfortunately, I was supposed to grab the light shade today, and I did, and I grabbed, like, the darker one for when I have sun. But, yeah, as you, like, blend it in, it does look really, really good. Um, 
And then the the worst thing, I think, like, I don't know, maybe this mascara could have been a little bit more volumizing, I feel. I'm going to add, like, another coat to make it. Okay. It's just a little bit more curvy. Because my eyelashes are long. They're just not thick. My hair is, I'm just, I don't have thick eyebrows. I don't have thick eyelashes. I don't have thick hair. So, um, and you want to like change to what you want to have. Um, so the mascara was pretty good. It would have been nice if it was much more um, quite brand new. Maybe they have a thickening formula. I think it did lengthen it really nicely. I really love the shades of the palette, the eyeshadow palette that I just mysteriously disappeared. Okay. The pumpkin spice eyeshadow palette. The shades are absolutely stunning. There's just so much fallout. Look at that. Like I was just using these. Where did it go? The Coco contour palette. Like it says it's cocoa infused contouring and highlighting palette, but honestly, I don't see a highlight going on um, with these three top shades there. It seems like it's more of contouring and bronzing. Like these would be contours and these would be bronzing. I don't do much of contours, but uh, this, let me even do a swatch. I'm going to do a swatch of this like yellow looking piece of chocolate. And you can just tell that that is not a highlight. Like what kind of highlight is that? Like a light, light highlight? There's like no shimmer and no shine. It's like a contour. So it's weird. Weird. Um, and then the one with the um, wet and, the wet and dry palette here, I feel like that also had a lot of fallout. And the highlight isn't as I want it. Like, the highlight that they're providing us is more of a natural highlight. And I kind of, I guess I want a shimmer highlight. I didn't even set my makeup. Okay. Um, to set my makeup, I didn't have a Too Faced setting spray. Um, I really like the uh, Milani Fruit Fetish Make It Last. This does last. It lasts all day and it smells really, really good. I have these in a few scents, so. Oh, that's like a big spray and then I like lather myself in this stuff because it really works I'm, like dying but it smells really good and it doesn't smell like alcohol and I'm not like I don't have my fan and I'm not like dying in like a bad way just dying and like not able to breathe by adding so much spray um but that is it it looks so much better with the setting spray I'm all done. I'm going to have to like do my crazy looking hair. Um, I tried to do something to, um, you know, match the olive on my shirt or my sweater. But I did as much as I could. Otherwise, I think that's all I have to say about um, the Too Faced look. I absolutely love the palette. I don't care that there was fallout. And I'm just going to work with it to build things up. But thank you very much for everyone who joined today. And if you have any feedback, please let me know. I'd love to know. Um, and definitely um, give this video a thumbs up if you've seen this video and you weren't live it's okay um, definitely you can subscribe to my channel if you'd like to down here and thanks again I hope everyone has a wonderful day bye bye